pre-milling parts on your edge band. If you want to pre-mill your parts on your edge band before applying that edge banding, Micromilm Toolbox can handle that. Follow me along in this next video and we'll go through the process on how to set that up to make sure that all your parts are coming off the CNC or your saw slightly oversized so we can do that pre-milling at the edge band. Let's go ahead and get started. Currently, we have this panel inside of a project that has edge banding on all four edges. Finish size 20 by 20, and there we can see the edge banding applied. Into part properties, we'll take a look at the edge banding name. So we're using this eighth inch or three mil ABS white edge banding. Now into the material file, let's double check the thickness on that. Just because the name says one thing, the material thickness could say something else. So it's always a good idea just to double check. We do have this one copied to our project level, so we're able to edit that material. We have the material thickness at an eighth of an inch, and double click on that, and there's one other thing I wanted to show here. Along with the thickness, we have our part size adjustment. If you hover over, you can see here, if we enter an amount, it'll add that to the edge banded side of parts. So since this part has edge banding on all four sides, then that four inches is gonna get added to each edge. Now this only applies when we have the setting in our processing station set to look to that amount. We're gonna get back to that in a minute. So now under toolbox setup, we can take a look and see under the tool files, what our edge banding pre-mill amount is set to. Currently we have edge banding pre-mill dimension set to one. So we have an eighth of an inch or three millimeter edge banding thickness. We have edge bander pre-mill set to one in our tool file and we have our part size adjustment in that material set to four inches. And that four inches is specific to that one material. Now let's take a look at the processing station that we're gonna use when we process this part. Under the settings, we have our pre-mill type. Currently, I have it set to just the edge band thickness, but we have the option to use legacy pre-mill or custom edge band amount. Now legacy pre-mill is gonna pick up the edge banding pre-mill dimension in our tool file. Edge band thickness will do just what it says. It's gonna take the thickness of the edge banding and that's gonna get pre-milled on the edge band. Or the custom edge band amount, which is the part size adjustment. So let's first do edge band thickness and see what happens. So we'll process this part three different times so we can get an idea how each one of these settings works. So there's my processing station that we're gonna use. Select all the parts and process. So with this one, we have a 20 by 20 finished part. We are using our edge banding thickness for the pre-mill. So now that we open up this drawing, we see the part at 20 by 20. It's gonna go through the edge bander, get the eighth of an inch taken off. So let's represent that. So now that eighth of an inch is getting taken off of the edge bander. We're back down to 19 and three quarter. Then the three millimeter edge banding just gets applied right back to it. And the finish size after edge banding, 20 by 20. Okay, so that's how it works when we take in the edge banding thickness into account for the pre-mill. Let's do that again, going back into the processing station. We don't need to create a new work order. We're gonna do the edits from here. Edit that processing station that we're working on. Now, instead of edge banding thickness, let's go use legacy pre-mill. So now the amount that we're pre-milling on the edge bander is what we had set up in our tool file. Let's take a look at that one more time. We have it set to one. So what's gonna happen now, we have the 20 by 20. We're gonna add one inch to each edge that has that edge banding assigned to it. So that takes us to 21. But then of course, we have the thickness of the edge banding, which is still being applied after the fact. When we look at this drawing, we'll see this new part at 21.75 or 21 and three quarter. There we go. Now let's go through the process of this running through the edge bander, taking that one inch off. Now, obviously probably can't take off a full one inch, but just to make it easy for this video, now we're down to our 19 and three quarter, eighth of an inch added to each side. There's our 20 by 20 inch part. Okay, we'll do this one last time with the custom edge band amount. And we had that set up to four. So this part will now be oversized four inches on each edge. Let's edit that processing station again. Now custom edge band amount for the pre-mill type and reprocess. Overwrite that batch again into our drawing. And now we should see 27.75. Let's go through that process again. We'll offset four inches. There's our cut size of our door after pre-mill, 19.75. Then add that eighth of an inch back on with the edge banding and a finish size of 20 by 20. So those are three different ways that you can add pre-mill amount to your parts. 
and do pre-milling at your edge bander. All right, that brings us to the end of another lesson in Microvellum Toolbox. Now, just remember when you're making changes to your tool files or your processing stations, it's always a good idea to run a test out in the shop to see if the changes are working the way that you expect. And if you don't plan on using the pre-mill at all at the edge bander, then just set your processing station to the legacy pre-mill and your tool file, the edge band pre-mill amount to zero. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you on the next one.